What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar. After Banjo and Kazooie were announced and the render was readily available online, I took it upon myself to guess and make some recolors that could potentially be added into the game. Now this wasn't meant to be any kind of prediction on my part, I kinda just thought these would be cool and if I were in charge I would make them myself this way. Obviously Sakurai went a totally different route because I never would have thought in a million years that he would have made a grunty version of Banjo and Kazooie, but here they are in the game and I am here for it. And we, if you don't like this, I've seen a lot of people say that they don't like this costume. And if you don't like this, we're about to have an issue. We're about to throw down. You're about to catch these hands because that is a really cool costume. I've seen a lot of people talk crap about it. And if there wasn't a pink banjo, I would absolutely play the grunty banjo exclusively. But I did end up guessing one of them very, very close. Uh, the white banjo, which we kind of all knew was going to happen because Boggy the Bear is in Banjo and Kazooie. It was kind of just a natural fit. Um, so I went ahead and made Kazooie black just to uh, sort of counter the white of Banjo and that is actually pretty close to what ended up being in the game. I didn't get the shorts or the backpack right, I didn't really touch them. Um, and I didn't exactly guess that they would make the feathers white on Kazooie, but I want to say that like I got this 90% right. I mean the colors of the shorts and the backpack could have gone genuinely any way. So I'm not too fussed about that. And then the white feathers, I, I guess I didn't get that entirely right. But a black kazooie with a white banjo, I mean, I guessed that. So I got one of them kind of right. I guessed other colors right, like I got a yellow banjo right, a blue banjo right. But I didn't get any of the other colors right for both characters on the same costume, except for the boggy and black kazooie. So now that Terry is out and we are able to actually look at his render ahead of time without knowing what the recolors are going to be. This is the perfect opportunity for me to make another video where I guess his colors. So let's go ahead and jump into those. All right, so first we're gonna start, of course, with the default. He's got his red hat, vest, and converse on, and he's got jeans. He's honestly a pretty basic character design-wise. He really, I mean, you could see this dude walking around every day and you'd be like, okay, that's, I mean, why is he wearing a, a sleeveless vest in 2019? like this but I mean this is fairly basic clothing there's nothing too crazy about it so the recolors would be uh, equally very basic now the thing about smash and recolors for characters that come from fighting games we have both Ken and Ryu to look at for this is that those games already have a bunch of recolors for the characters because they run into the same problem smash has where you need to distinguish if two of the same character are on screen at once so with both Ken and Ryu, all of their colors have come from past Street Fighter games. None of them are actually original to Smash. So my prediction is that Terry is going to be the same way and he's going to have most, if not all, of his colors taken from games that he's already been in. So I went ahead and took the render and I made some colors that come from previous fighting games. First up is this muted red with green-ish jeans. I mean, they're not totally green, but they're kind of green. This comes from King of Fighters 98 as one of the possible alternate palettes that he can have. Then we have a green one with some blackish gray jeans. I took a little bit of artistic license here and sort of changed the colors up a bit. It is based on one of the King of Fighters 98 colors as well, but I didn't want them all to have blue jeans because it's kind of a big part of what you're looking at on the model, so changing up the jeans color also helps with distinguishing the different colors. But this one is another one from King of Fighters 98. Next, an all blue one with the jeans kinda untouched, and this is also from King of Fighters 98, and it just looks nice. I don't know what else to say about it. I kinda like the blue with the blue jeans. Next up is a pink one because, of course, I made a pink one. I love the pink skins. Whenever a character has one, I love the pink skins. Um, so yeah, apparently I've seen that this is playable in one of the Fatal Fury or King of Fighters games, but for some reason I have a hard time finding recolors of these games online, so I'm not entirely sure uh, what game this is from, but apparently it is from a game. Next up we have a black and brown one, again supposedly from a King of Fighters game or Fatal Fury because Terry is very prominent in both of those. Um, but I, I really like this one. I like when characters have dark alts that don't exactly match their color scheme. I mean, his original is very bright and vibrant, and this one is very muted, so I kind of like that. And next is literally the same costume, but with purple jeans instead of brownish, muted ones. Uh, again, from King of Fighters, I, and I actually really like this color scheme. I'm not 
entirely sure what game it's from again, but I don't know, something about the black top with the jeans that are purple really just seems very cool. Next is a basic yellow. I just think there will be a yellow. It seems like a very Terry-ish color. Um, although it does blend in with this blonde hair, so I'm not entirely sure what they'll do with that. But basic colors are pretty much guaranteed for Smash in some cases. Next is a color very loosely based on Ryo Sakazaki, another SNK property from another fighting game that they have. Ryo is seen in the Art of Fighting series, but he has also been a big part of Fatal Fury and the King of Fighters, and he is a crossover fighter in himself, so I think if Terry is in Smash, it makes sense for another crossover character to at least be represented in one of his colors. And next is a color based on one of Terry's alternate appearances that he has in Mark of the Wolves. In this game, which sort of takes place after a time skip, he has long since lost the hat and the vest, and instead he wears sort of a fighter jacket, which is brown. So I decided to make this color based on that outfit. But Smash absolutely loves to have alternate costumes and appearances, and so I figured why not have one of those for Terry? I mean, he basically has a built-in alternate costume made for him, so I would be surprised if we didn't see this as one of his appearances. So this is not the official Smash render, this is just one of the renders for one of the games, but I figured I would take this and make some very basic recolors for it. So first we have a red one, and then we have a green one, and then we have a blue one, which are kind of just staples for Smash. They pretty much always have these colors for every character. And lastly, you know I had to make a pink one because I'm not going to not make a pink one. I mean, come on. And now let's go a little crazy with things that will absolutely not ever happen, ever. SNK released a game called SNK Heroines, which is a tag team fighting game which focuses, of course, on female characters that they have in their universes. And this includes, very strangely, a female form of Terry. Now, I don't think that this will happen in Smash, and it's not necessarily because she's kind of risque and busty but more because I think that the two models would sort of conflict with each other. You have male Terry who is really, really big and buff, and then you have female Terry who's not only not as buff as male Terry, but is probably significantly shorter. So I feel like they would have an issue with having the hitboxes and the hurt boxes all line up the same way. They would either have to shrink normal Terry or really, really increase the size and, you know, buffness, I guess, of female Terry. And so I don't think they would do either one of those, but I thought this would be funny anyway, because this is not really a very well-known thing about Terry, especially for people who already didn't know about Terry in the first place. So I went ahead and made a handful of colors. There's a blue one, there's a green one, there's a brown one based on Mark of the Wolves, there's a pink one because I gotta make a pink one, and then there is a black one. A few of these are actually based on colors from SNK Heroines. This specific appearance only has three colors besides the red one. Um, that game focuses a lot on other costumes, so there's one where she's like this fairy thing, and another one where she is a cheerleader. But for this actual default Terry appearance, there's only four total colors. So uh, not all of the ones that I made are official, but I just wanted to make them. I figured why not include this funny version of Terry? Like I said, I don't think this is going to happen at all. If I had to bet, I would say that we're going to have the normal Terry appearance and then the Mark of the Wolves Terry appearance as the two looks for Terry. Um, but, you know, I could be wrong. They could go with all of the default. Who knows, I just thought that that female Terry would be really funny to make. And with that, we have finished all of the different colors for Terry. Um, I don't know, I just thought this would be fun. Uh, I, people really seem to like the banjo one, so I figured I would do it for Terry too, now that they've given me the opportunity to. Like I said in the last video, both Joker and Hero I didn't really get the opportunity to because we didn't know um, Joker's render in a good quality, and I didn't know a ton about Persona, so I couldn't have made anything more than just generic colors. Uh, and for Hero, the day he was announced, we saw all of the recolors, so I couldn't do anything for those two. So Banjo I was able to do it for, Terry I've now been able to do it for, hopefully the last Fighter Pass one I will be able to do it for as well, and then everything beyond, whether it's Fighter Pass 2 or just a handful more cost er, characters, um, hopefully I will be able to do this kind of thing for them as well. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. And if you are new, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Female Terry for Smash.